for King Alpha Tatuba. And here we have it. Just a young gun. And here we have it. Alice Lee Event Center CTP Boxing presents. We're Frank. finally here. Heavy hitters, let's go. Shane the Alpha. Business Brock and Kendall Cannon watching King Alpha come down the escalator. Alpha, most, uh, I guess his most memorable fight would be against, um, or notable fight would be against um, the very own. Our very own Joseph Parker. Yeah. Fought him for the New Zealand title, gave him some trouble too, so. You know. He's got some experience under his belt, so. Welcome, welcoming him to the fight game. Let's hope he's been training because we know that he's been out of the game for a while, yeah. so. He's Maybe. got 17 fights experience, but yeah, he got to have that training in the recent days. Definitely. Especially with a guy like Conrad Lamb. Yeah, because he I would guess be. his most notable win would be against uh, the Brown Butterbean. So. I think Conrad was supposed to fight James Wilson. That would have been a big one. Beast. Beast style. What have they got? Here it is, the man of the moment, Friday the 13th himself, on Friday the 13th. Such a fitting day to have a fight. Yeah, great timing. He was supposed to be the 13th fight as well. That would have uh, yeah, aligned, just it off. Yeah, aligned all the planets, but now it's just going to be the planets colliding. This is going to be a big heavy hitters event to finish off the night. Crowd favourite here tonight. Both both guys got plenty of support in the ring. Everybody up on their toes, waiting for the the man of the moment to come down. Quite a dramatic setting coming down the, the elevator. Seeing your opponent in the ring, watching him wait for you. Big, big boy here. And in his corner there, Julius Long, seven foot tall. Yeah. The tallest, oh, coming up, hopefully, the tallest fighter and the largest fighter. That ring is uh, earning its payday. Um, Yeah, for his previous bout, but I thought he won it in his last fight, and you normally have a bout for a year unless you've lost it, and he hasn't lost a fight. He's 4-0. Oh. Uh, and fighting out of the blue corner, he's an orthodox fighter coming in at 6'4", weighing 175 kilograms. He's in the black and white shorts. He's a former Australasian Pan Pacific inaugural champ. Trained by Dad Gus Lamb out of Tony Martin Gym, representing Central Auckland, Conrad Lamb! Fighters. Uh, the new blood. Can't get over the size of this man. Yeah. Makes Alpha Tatupu look like, well, like, like a cruiserweight. Yeah. Big man, big, big boy. 25 years old versus 37. Youth versus experience. Typical youth versus experience. So, but it was also going to be yeah, a few other advantages besides just just youth. 25 years old and he's massive. It's going to be a good one. Let's see who lands first. Going to be some big punches. See if Arthur starts strong, but doesn't matter how he starts, how he finish. Definitely. Let's see who finishes who. Ooh, bit of a jab, sticking it out. Maybe, uh, maybe Conrad needs to. Oh, bit of a hook. Got him there, but doesn't seem to phase him. Yeah. Oh, nice movement into that. What was the left hook that he came over with? 
There you go, there you go. He's showing his class, his experience. Oh, beautiful over there, right? They don't even seem to phase the big man. Look at him. They look He's just like tiny straight gloves. back. Is he wearing yeah. bagments? Are those regulations? Size? Yeah, yeah. Double check them. Both of them look small. So he's, yeah, no, he's ducking under it. He needs to survive that first round at least. Take the big boy into deep waters. Yeah. He's never been. He's never been, you know, into the deep waters no. and been tested. Then we all know Uffa Tutupu has. Yep. And Uffa's coming forward strong. Yeah. All or nothing, and um, I'm assuming this will be four rounds. Five. Okay. Yeah. Five threes. Interesting number, but yeah, I've, I've had a five well before. Already? Yeah, it was just what you got to do. But it was against someone more experienced. So I guess maybe, maybe Uffa's uh, experience, you have to do more than just standard. I don't know. I'll find out later. Five random. And back to our five. You see Conrad Lamb just tying him up, using his weight, pushing him around. It all adds up, yeah, to be taxing in the later yeah, rounds. But maybe exactly what I was just about to say. You know, he's just taking that energy out of him, just trying to hold that weight. Is Maybe he takes the same energy as it is. Maybe he doesn't want it to go to the outdoor. Oh, that's nice a big overhand, eh? Hey. They just don't seem to be facing the big boy. Uh, ab absorbing it? And yeah. You see him using his weight again, just pushing him back like... He like just steamrolls him back. Yeah, like he's a lightweight. Imagine if uh, again, Conrad did an overhand like that. Maybe because he's so tall, he should just stick yeah. to the uppercuts. Yeah. But a bit of a push... Oh, bit of a nice clip. left hook. Yeah, no, Uffa's still being able to catch him with some shots. And they're going to add up. But, uh, yeah, Conrad has the experience to be able to uh, drain him a little bit. You can tell, you can tell they're bothering, they're bothering um, uh, Conrad, Conrad a little bit. Yeah. Because he's, he reacts straight away to them. Yep. You know, he gets hit and he's like, okay, yeah, that's what you got. This is what I got. Yep. He doesn't just compose himself. Okay, you know, take it. What did I do wrong? Come back with something else. He, no, he just comes straight back, and I think it's, it's that could be taxing for him. That could, he, he's being controlled, so Arthur's in more control. But then again, oh, there goes an uppercut, oh, and over and right. Big, big punches, big punches coming. That should be stopped because you don't have standing eight counts. So we'll see what happens here. Maybe he was stumbling. Maybe he's oh, okay. No, I, I'm gonna say he's he's calling it. Referee's trying. I'm confused. I'm ashamed. It, it trying, has to be here. trying to call it, but yeah. Uffa's refusing to go. Okay, that was oh. interesting. Um, okay, so we'll Uffa, have to talk about that later. Okay. So Uffa won that um, argument. He yeah. won that battle. Yeah. So um, he stumbled back. Maybe the uh, the. Oh, I'll find out later. That's a big shot he took. Yes. He, he stumbled, he definitely uh, buckled. Be interesting though, the, do the um, judges now call that a 10-8 round because the ropes saved him from falling? Or, yeah, yeah. But so it wasn't officially called as a knockdown, so how, how do you call that? In my eyes, it should be one or the other, so yeah, it could be interesting. Maybe the judges could I be thought, split. This. I thought maybe it would have been called as a knockdown because he got... He, he was stumbling the ropes, in the ropes. The ropes caught him, yep. so he should have had at least an eight count. Yep. Or, the ropes held him up. I don't know, moment of confusion, saved by the bow nonetheless. Bit of a talk, bit of a quarero. Yeah, 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 bit of a talking point for uh, Maters over, over some beersies. But, yeah, um, learn something about boxing as long as we're, le we're, we're learning. Learning something for today, but we're coming but, um, into the yeah, second round. Up until then, Alpha seemed to be controlling it, you know, yeah. he's, he's landing some big punches, but then Conrad just caught him with that uppercut yeah. that you were talking about just earlier, so... Maybe he knows he knows the power now. He knows not to get caught. Yeah, needs yeah, to get yeah. back to boxing, but he's he's still got it. But we know Uffa's tough. He's he's not just going to sit down for anybody. So he fought Joseph Parker. Yeah. yeah. So he's not you know, he's not showing away. Exactly. And uh, Conrad's definitely not showing away. So back to working each other out, working their way in, see who's going to stick first. Oh, another good left hook. Good, uh, yeah, good target practice. Like, he's got, um, he connected well, like, yeah, yeah, for a yeah. big guy. He's not coming with blistering speed either. It's yeah. Just, it's kind of... The, the timing, something yeah. fell into place. Uh, accuracy, that's what I was trying to think of. He's got good oh. accuracy. No, he's gone. Oh. 
Devastating Walker. uppercut. Done. Devastating. Absolutely. Audis. Oh. As soon as that, it connected, you could hear it as soon as it connected. That was a yeah, solid shot, uppercut. Too using much his, weight behind that yeah, punch And as using well. his weight against him exactly. like it's Conrad's weight and going against Arthur's weight. And he just dropped. So right that's what you mark. get when you're uppercut up against right it. Right on the chin. I'm not too sure what weight uh, Conrad came in at, but he has been 170 before. Oh, well, you Maybe know, for the heavyweights, it's, it's just for the record. I mean, you know. Yeah, you can be anything. What, what's the point of having the weight? That's what I say. Yeah. For the, for the I think he left, his, he left his shorts on. But he has his sleeping clothes on. Yeah. Just jump on the scale. Or, just yeah, just tell them. Hey, tell them, yeah, tell I'm, them, hey. Yeah. I'm ex Ring up, I'm not coming in. Yeah, exactly. I'm eating dinner. Do you huh. want to step in between me and my meal? That's what I'd be like. Nice. So, cool. doctors, there's been six suspensions tonight, so that might unfortunately be another suspension of a month off or two months off for yeah. another another yeah. fighter. Is but regulatory could be three months. Big shot there. Testing another another win for Conrad, so that's his uh, fifth fight, fifth win, unbeaten. And we're saying Conrad's got a fight coming up. Yep, he's fighting oh, Sam yes. Pulu. Okay, Sam Pulu. On the same there. card as Louis Tiao and oh, Shay Brock. Oh, and Shay Brock. There he is. <laughs> Man of the moment. In the winner's circle. Big, big fights coming up beyond Shane Cameron's next event. But here we've got Craig Thompson with some good matchups. CTP. Awesome. Sponsored by Ubox. Awesome. Man. And yeah, you guys awesome saw a few awesome. highlights back in the day. Almost cut and finished Joe Parker, but tonight. Wasn't successful against the monster Conrad Lamb. Fighter centre stage for the decision, please. All right, folks, your winner in round two via knockout, Conrad Lamb! Only because he was in the blue corner. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Blue corner's having some. Wow, some. Even last one. Eight eight four. Four. Good. Yeah, man, that, uh, he's my brother, you know. Uh, I don't. I give it up to him, you know. He let me come into the ring, and, and you know, I was the underdog, not him. So, you know, I like. I can't. You don't, can't take anything away from his record. I just like to thank my sponsors, Mammoth, Heart and Soul, uh, Heart and Soul Weddings, Lone Star Albany, Dempsey Wood, APS, and all the support. Like we said last night. Mates outside the ring, enemies for a few minutes. You certainly did the damage. Are you going to try squeezing one more before the end of the year? Uh, I'm not sure. I might focus on something earlier in the next year. And, um, you know, like I said last night, we were just hitting each other with love. Beautiful. Great sportsmanship, Conrad. Ladies and gentlemen, watch this guy. He is one of New Zealand's heavyweight champs, Conrad Lamb. Yeah, Conrad Dam can we with the knockout victory there. If not like a Mark Hunt walk away uppercut. Yeah. Alright folks, that about wraps it up. It. What a devastating finish. Already. Job well done. Early night. Yeah, good scalp to take as well. Super easy, nice slug. So second round knockout. It's good. There's his belt. Conrad and still got his belt. He's got a fight coming up in November third against Sam Pulu. That that'll be a good good fight. I mean, as you uh, saw, yep. Sam Pulu fight Tino Honey, who, who has a good amateur pedigree as well. So, yep. you know, and he, he, he stood his ground against Tino. They had actually quite an awesome fight. And um, so Sam Pulu, he'll be. He'll and be he's taller. Yeah. Sam's taller, so similar. Um, not similar, but uh, yeah, better maybe a better matchup. Height wise, size, stature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll see, see. No, it's a big fight night coming up. That is some awesome matchups. Good quality, major quality. Shea at the top of the list doing the business. Looking forward to it. But that's us here tonight Me. at Heavy Hitters CTP Boxing um, here at the Allersley Event Centre. Friday the 13th, and Conrad, the man, Friday the 13th himself, um, making it his night. Came away with it. Great night. Big fights. Done and dusted. Catch you next week. Shea Brock, Kendall Cooper, all done. Handshakes are around. Busy's tonight. Good work.